Okay, so in the last few videos, uh, we mentioned phase shifts uh, here and there a little bit. So now we're finally going to start talking about it. Uh, so remember, phase shift is just a fancy term for a horizontal shift. So um, uh, when we talk about trig functions, when we say phase shift, we just mean horizontal shift, just like a regular old horizontal shift uh, for any kind of function you talked about in college algebra or pre-calculus, things like that. So um, these are the types of functions we've been dealing with so far with cosine and sine. So a cosine omega x plus b. So remember, uh, b is the vertical shift. A, the absolute value of a is the amplitude. 2 pi over the absolute value of omega is the period. We talked about that. Um, same thing with sine. Uh, y equals a sine omega x plus b. Vertical shift. Uh, absolute value of a is the period. 2 pi over absolute value of omega, or sorry, absolute value of a is the amplitude. Um, 2 pi over the absolute value of omega is the period. Um, so anyway, uh, now we're going to toss in a phase shift. So phase shift, sort of, uh, if we want to talk about that, we're going to introduce the Greek letter lowercase phi. So this is uh, P-H-I, it's pronounced phi. Uh, not really phi, some people like to say phi, but uh, it's uh, technically pronounced phi. Um, so anyway, Greek letter phi, just like a little circle with a line through it, uh, kind of sort of like that. So um, we're going to introduce that and see how that relates to the phase shift. So this is going to change the function a little bit now. Uh, both of them. So omega x minus phi plus b. Okay. Um, and then out here we have omega x minus phi okay, plus b. So why the minus sign? Remember back from your pre-calculus or college algebra days, um, if you have like the graph of y equals uh, x squared, and if you want to shift it two units to the right, that's y equals x minus uh, two squared, right? So this minus two pushes it two units to the right. Okay, so that's why we talk about blah, 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 minus phi, minus phi. Okay, so phi itself could be positive or negative or zero, right? Um, but anyway, if phi is positive, then minus phi is going to move it to the right. Um, so anyway, we'll talk a little more about that. Uh, now, I also want to point out, um, for if you're following along and, uh, and you're taking the course at uh, high school or college or whatever, um, you might be using different letters. You might have like A, B, C, and D um, instead of A, omega, phi, and B. Uh, you might have all Greek letters. You might have like alpha and beta um, instead of A and B. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, it does not matter what you call these things. You can call them anything you want. Uh, a, omega, phi, b. You can even mix them up if you want. Um, you know, like we could have called this omega, that a. That's weird though. People don't really do that. Um, you know, it's instead of a and b, it could be alpha, beta, like we said. It could be a, b, c, d here. Um, it absolutely does not matter what you call them. Uh, the math is all going to be pretty much the same. Um, the concepts are all the same. The facts and the truths behind them, they're all the same. Um, all we're doing here is just you know, giving them names, just something to call them. Um, but all the math behind the scenes, everything works out to be the same. Uh, it does not matter what we call these things. Okay, so we want to be careful because uh, the phase shift is not exactly equal to phi. Okay, remember uh, the phase shift, um, or for horizontal shifts, remember if you want to deal with a horizontal shift, you got to get x by itself first. Okay, so what we're going to do is get x by itself. So in other words, we're going to factor the omega. So let's look at, uh, we'll come down here and look at that separately for now. Um, so omega x minus phi. Okay, we want to factor out the omega. So uh, omega times... So uh, remember, factoring is kind of like dividing, right? So if we have omega x, and if we factor out the omega, then what's that really like saying? That's like saying omega x uh, divided by omega. Okay? Omega x divided by omega is just x, right? So that's why we just have an x here. Now, if we factor out omega from here, from a phi, what happens? Well, that's like phi divided by omega, um, which totally cannot be simplified, right? So this is just phi over omega. Okay, so again, um, factoring is like dividing, and um, that's why we have this here. It's actually probably easier to see it going the other way. So imagine distributing the omega into here. If we distribute the omega, then what are we going to have? I'll use a different color. Uh, we'll have omega x minus omega times phi over omega, right? Omegas cancel, and we just get omega x minus phi. Okay. okay, so my point right now is that it's maybe easier to see it going from here to here. Okay, just distribute the omega. But if you factor out the omega, remember factoring is like dividing, so that's why we end up with x minus phi over omega inside. Okay. Uh, so now, again, why do we want to do that? 
re the reason we want to do that is so that we can get the x by itself because now that we have x by itself like this, um, yeah, the omega's out here, but now the omega's affecting everything in the parentheses. Okay, so the x is by itself. So that actually tells us what the phase shift is. Now that's gonna tell us that the phase shift is phi over omega, okay? So the phase shift um, is phi over omega. Okay, but before we write that down, uh, let's get rid of this here. Let's uh, rewrite these functions. So we just, uh, we've just seen that omega x minus phi is the same thing as this, just by factoring. Okay, just straight up uh, plain and simple factoring. Kind of goofy because we have variables and Greek letters flying around all over the place. But it's really just like, um, if you have 2x minus 4, if you want to factor out a 2, 2x divided by 2 is x, 4 divided by 2 is 2, right? It's exactly like that. Or maybe if we have 5 instead, that would just be 5 halves, right? It's literally the exact same thing, exact same reasoning, but instead of 2 and 5, we have omega and phi. Okay, so anyway, um, this is the same thing then as saying uh, y equals a times the cosine of a uh, big old square bracket, omega times x minus phi over omega. Okay, let me fix that a tiny bit. Close square bracket and then plus capital B. Okay, so remember uh, omega x minus phi we just saw, that's the same thing as omega times the quantity x minus phi over omega, like that, okay? Now be very, 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 very careful. You cannot pull omega out of cosine. Omega has to stay inside the cosine. Okay, but the expression inside of the cosine, you can mess around with that um, any legal way that you want, right? So we can factor out stuff inside of that expression. That's totally fine. Okay, but um, we cannot pull stuff out of cosine. That's not allowed. Okay, we can pull stuff. We can factor out of the expression inside, just like we did here. Okay, we can factor that. Um, but again, do not pull stuff out of cosine. That's totally not legitimate. Same thing with sine too. Don't pull stuff out of sine. That's uh, totally not okay. Um, okay, so, and we can do the same thing over here with sine, right? We can rewrite it like that. So y equals uh, a times the sine of big old square brackets, uh, omega times the quantity x minus phi over omega plus b, okay? So um, let's zoom out maybe just a tiny bit. Oh, that's as far as it goes, okay. All right, so um, what's going on here then? Let's erase this now, so we don't need that anymore. Okay, so what's going on? What's the point of all this? So what we're trying to say now here is, uh, just like we've already talked about before with, um, when we didn't have a phase shift, what do we have? We had the amplitude Um, which is the absolute value of A, okay, which is uh, max value minus min value all divided by 2. Okay. Remember, that was uh, <clears throat> A, or sorry, that's the amplitude. It's the absolute value of A, max value minus min value all divided by 2. Okay, that's still the same. That has not changed at all. Now we're introducing phase shift. The amplitude is still the same. Um, how about period? period is capital T, which remember was 2 pi over the absolute value of omega. Okay. 2 pi over the absolute value of omega. Okay, that also has not changed. Okay, we're still dealing with sines and cosines. We have a phase shift now, but that has not changed. Uh, the vertical shift, nothing really special about it, but why not write it? It's there. Uh, vertical shift equals B, which we kind of talked about in some of the examples we did with getting equations from graphs. Uh, that's the max value uh, plus the min value, all divided by two. Um, now this, you know, we've all we've talked about this stuff before, but it's it's all the same. Now we're introducing phase shift. This is all still the same. What's new now is uh, the phase shift. So what the new thing here is uh, the phase shift, and it equals phi over omega. Um, no absolute values, okay? No absolute values on the omega. Okay, that's very important. Um, even though the period has 2 pi over absolute value of omega, the phase shift does not have absolute values. Okay, so the period and the amplitude have to be positive, right? Period has to be positive, amplitude has to be positive. Uh, vertical shift is just a shift, so it could be negative. Um, likewise, uh, phase shift is just a shift, okay? It's a horizontal shift, left or right, so it could be negative. 
Okay, so phi could be negative, omega could be negative, uh, one could be negative, one could be positive, they could both be positive, and so on and so forth. Uh, the point is phase shift could be positive or negative, or zero, okay? But this is our new thing here, okay? Phase shift is phi over omega, okay? So that's phase shift, and remember, it's just a horizontal shift to the left or to the right. So let's do a quick example here, um, and then we'll do example two in the next video that sort of illustrates um, you know, if omega is negative, why not take the absolute value? What happens if we do? Um, is it going to be wrong? And yeah, it will, but we'll see in the next example. So anyway, a simple example for now, uh, example one. So let's um, kind of like to save all this, but I guess not. So uh, example one. Uh, example one. Find the phase shift. Okay, so our function is going to be um, y equals negative 5 times the cosine of uh, 3x minus 1 uh, plus 2. Okay, so when we deal with phase shifts, uh, notice it's just phi over omega. A is completely irrelevant. B is completely irrelevant for phase shift. Okay? So um, I erased probably what I should have kept, but uh, in general, um, what do we have in general? Y equals A times the cosine of uh, omega x minus phi plus B, right? So what we want to do is identify what is omega, what's phi. So omega, what's omega? It's 3. Okay? Uh, what's phi? It's positive one, right? Be careful, it's omega x minus phi. Okay, so minus sign, minus sign. 3x minus one, omega x minus phi. So it's uh, omega x minus phi, 3x minus one. So um, uh, phi is positive one. Okay, because it's blah, 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 minus phi. Blah, 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 minus one. Okay, so phi itself is just one. Okay, so this is just omega x minus phi. Okay, so omega is three, x is x, minus is minus, phi is one. Okay, so the phase shift, uh, then so the phase shift is phi over omega which is 1 over 3 okay. so that's the answer for example 1 um, and slightly more complicated example in the next video